feeling like Leafy is here with his uh, BuzzFeed edition videos right now. But I decided to take two other YouTubers good concepts and put them together to make my own type of kinda extremely unoriginal but I like to think it's original type of content. So yeah, I saw a bit of a trend going around of people doing BuzzFeed quizzes that were absolutely horrible and unironic and just painful to do. And then I also am a avid viewer of um, I Hate Everything, Search for the Worst, so I decided to take those two things and combine them and make something that seemed sort of original but is in no way extremely very unoriginal and just no. no. But today I'm doing a, a quiz on BuzzFeed called How privileged are you? I am white. I have never been the only person of my race in a room. Well, technically, we're all the same race. But I know they're talking about in regards to skin color. And um, I'm not gonna take that because I have been. I've been in a room on my own. I have never been mocked for my accent. <laughs> oh, I'm Irish. I have never been told I'm attractive for my race. I've never even been called attractive in the first place. I have never been a victim for violence because of my race. If you mean people calling me a cracker and stuff. I'm just gonna say no. I don't agree with violence. A stranger has never asked to touch my hair or ask if it's real. That's just- That has nothing got to do with privilege. That's got to do with how you style your out. Okay. I am heterosexual. I have never been called a fag. It's the internet. <laughs> I have never been called a dyke. It's the internet. I am a man. <sighs> I've never been denied an opportunity because of my gender. I was not allowed to play football at one point in my life because I was a girl and the boys were allowed to play football and the girls were made to play basketball. But I just, I just really wanted to play football. I had never been sexually harassed or assaulted. So this quiz is insinuating, if you haven't been raped, you're privileged. It's an unfortunate and traumatic experience, but to not be raped is not a privilege. My parents are both alive. How is that? A privilege. Again, that's not a privilege. A privilege, by definition, is a special right or advantage. Your parents being alive is not a special right. What? Yeah. Uh, All my jobs have been accommodating some religious practice. No, I'm not nervous in security. Uh, airport security lines? No, because I have nothing to worry about. You would only be worried if you were carrying something. That's just sins. No matter how you look or how you are, as long as you're not in the wrong, I feel like you should just try and put that out of your mind and continue on. Otherwise, you'll just be caught up in your fear and that won't be fun for either you, anyone around you, or the people who end up, you know, checking you and whatnot because that leads them on to believe that you might have something wrong because you're being nervous. It's kind of how people think. Anyway, nobody has ever tried to save me from my religious beliefs. No. I had never been served. It's the internet. I was. <laughs> I feel privileged because of the identities I was born with. I'm just gonna take that because, yeah, I am privileged to quite a degree. I'm not the most best off in the world, but there are so, so, so much worse out there. And I don't think a BuzzFeed quiz will justify that. You live with 59 out of 100 points of privilege. You're quite privileged. You had a few struggles. But overall, your life has been far easier than most. This is not a bad thing, nor is it something to be ashamed of. But you should be aware of your advantages and work to help others who don't have them. Thank you for checking your privilege. Watch this video to see what these people scored. Let's see what these BuzzFeed people scored. I guess open it up on YouTube because... Uh... A few moments later. It was just your average 
crappy BuzzFeed video that gets 3 million views with intense background music that doesn't fit and extremely melodramatic people and statements. I'll leave a link to this quiz in the description if you guys want to take it yourself and I'll also leave a link to the video in the description that's at the end of the BuzzFeed. Now if you excuse me it's time for me to go take the quiz on how BuzzFeed knows how smart I am based on my taste in eggs. Be just like a one